Hello and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, it's a continuation of yesterday's video, which was how to root your Android device. So in this video, I'm gonna show you actually how to install a custom ROM. Well, first of all, where to download them, how to get it onto the device and then install. And then in the next video, I'm actually gonna show you how to unroot your device and get back to the stock firmware that came with your device before you actually messed about with it. So let's go on with it. So the place to get your ROMs is from forum.xda-developers.com. So if you go here, you can get them for a variety of devices. And this one in particular is for the Galaxy S3. Come in here and you can see all the different ROMs. Uh, search through them all. Loads of really good help in here. Excellent resource. Now the other device I have is the Galaxy Note 2. As you can see, this is the forum for that one. Uh, and again, I'll leave both links to these in the description below so you can go straight to them. Okay, so once you've downloaded a ROM, how do you get it onto your phone? What I normally do is you use AirDroid from the Play Store. Um, I think it's free to download. Um, so once you've got that on your device, you need to load it up. It'll ask you to go to an IP address on your computer and pop in a password, which I'll show you that now. Okay, so once you're at this page, all you have to do is pop in the password here, literally that easy, and you click on login, and it presents you with these sort of icons here. Now, this is where you can upload the files to the device. Now, I've already done this beforehand, as you can see here, that is the Jelly Bean ROM ready to go. So all you have to do is click on the upload button and then just browse for the file. Okay, so now we've got all of that done, all we have to do now is put the phone into recovery mode. So all we're going to do is press the up volume, the power, and the home button at the same time, very similar to download mode, which was obviously the down volume key. Keep on holding it and eventually it reboots, and you will see in a second we'll boot into clockwork mod recovery. Okay, so we're nearly finished now. All we have to do is go to install from zip and I'm gonna choose the internal SD card. That's where I saved it. And then here you can see the ROM at the very bottom. We're gonna select on that um, and it's gonna ask us, do we wanna do this? Obviously, yes, we do. So I'm just gonna go all the way down with the volume key and press on yes. Now this is gonna load up the Aroma installer and this is gonna make it really easy to get this thing installed. It gives you some options at the very start. So like I said, it's very simple. Can't really go wrong with it. So as you can see, this is the Resurrection Remix ROM, which is a really good ROM. It's the very first one I ever installed. So here we're at the installation, we click on next. Now we could do a default, a light or a custom. I usually do custom, but for this, I'm just gonna quickly do a default one. And here I'm just gonna click on next. And again, here we've got some things about the Google apps. Do I wanna install these? Yes, I do. And here we've got a few more options. So we're just gonna click on next. And here we can actually select a launcher. So I'm gonna click on Nova launcher. I prefer that one out of all the others. And sometimes the button doesn't respond, which is a bit annoying. And now we are ready to flash this ROM. So this is literally gonna wipe the device. So the previous OS that was on here is gonna be gone. And this is now gonna be the new one. So anything you have on there is probably a good idea that you back that up beforehand, just in case you want it later on. Now this is literally just gonna go through the install. That's pretty boring. So I'm just gonna skip past this into the end of the installation. Okay, so now we're at the end. Literally all we have to do is click on finish and the device will now reboot and we will see some different animations. So I'd say all in all, the longest part of this whole process is actually for me specifically is downloading the ROM because my internet is in the UK. Uh, getting it onto the device and actually flashing it is very quick, very simple. You can't really go wrong. Click a couple of options and you are ready to go. So as you can see, it's now fully installed and we'd now need to go through the setup process. I'm just gonna quickly go start, start, actually skip through most of it and actually just get to the ROM itself because that's what you've come to see. And there you go. So we've now got a stock Jelly Bean ROM working on the Galaxy S3. Now, if you do have an issue and it doesn't work first off, go back into Clockwork Mod Recovery and actually reflash the device. Uh, I've had to do that in the past because sometimes the first time it doesn't flash correctly. I'm not sure why, but doing it a second time, it seems to work. So that's pretty much it folks, just want to thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please click the like button below. If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button below also. And I'm also going to be making a video on how to unroot and put the stock firmware back on your uh, Android device very soon. So stay tuned for that. And as always guys, I'll catch you all in the next one.